Because it's more while I have to do them things. You know. Funny cool stove fire. Blaze up, watch them. Watch them. Chagging, watch them. Yes, guys. Beer that we're going with. Nice, right? Okay, guys. So, our soup come to the end. So, now, guys, we'll be serving plating our soup yes guys nice something there i'll play with soup guys no any other thing there so pour in the liquid yes guys nick's kitchen soup Hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i will be making some red pea soup first started out here i have my peas pumpkin cocoa irish scallion my cock soup three of them and yam i just cleaned up my chicken and my chicken foot I remove all of this from it so I'm going to wash shortly with some vinegar also I have three cups of coconut milk in my jar yes guys and I'm about to catch my coal fire to prepare so you don't want to miss all this niceness Nick's kitchen red pea soup hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i will be making some red pea soup so here i have my peas already washed one pound peas i have my chicken and chicken foot all cleaned and washed two cups of flour um two cups of coconut milk these are my season that i will be using to season my chicken and chicken foot adding a little jerk complete season onion powder garlic powder two scotch bonnet peppers pumpkin irish scallion yam and i will be using three cock soup and also three cocoa to my soup so guys let's get right in to season our so guys you know, set our pressure here for you add our peas to the pot and we are gonna season with meat for going our soup meat <laughs> do everything different come my soup after nice well recommended so going in with one tablespoon of each salt garlic onion complete season and my favorite maggi all purpose going in to the meat also two tablespoon of walker's wood jerk seasoning guess what so right now my hand them done clean already you know so you know it go a rubbing time so we just have a combine all of that i will leave it for marinate you know not because of soup tell them the kid you know? <laughs> we'll give it 15 minutes and then yes so now you want to rub it in ensure that everything catch yes guys a soup where do you know i'm kind of swear season everything based on seasoning okay can't go wrong with it so we'll leave this for 15 minutes to marinate then we add to the pressure with our peas for 15 minutes then we remove and we start cook with soup so stay tuned you don't want to miss that Alright, here it is. So guys, now we'll be going in with our peas to our pressure. 
just already washed. What are you worrying about? All right, watch a prayer, guys. Chicken foot only to the pot. So remove all of them. I'll just place them in and in and in and in. Yeah. So guys, going in to our pot with some old clothes. Yes, so now we will be adding some salt to our pot. Yeah. So that's one tablespoon salt to the pot. So now we will just close our pressure and we pressure for 10 minutes. No more, no less. What's good? So guess what? Peel our pumpkin and our grown provision. So pumpkin, we yam, we Irish, we cocoa, all of that may do you right as so one time. So you know say in our pumpkin you have some this it's normally inside with the seeds. So you just want to ensure you scrape, remove all of that, right? So guys, grab all of the pumpkin. So now we just want to give them dice like that. Yes, guys. So you want to repeat still all of your pumpkin is put up neatly and ready okay. so guys now we're peeling our yam So guys now here I have one big big Irish here so now I'm just removing the skin from the Irish guys so guys we will be putting the Irish in our soup last reason for that it is very easy to cook and you don't want to get lost in the soup so guys now we have three lovely cocoa here. So we just no separated soup yeah put in real Jamaican style of putting a cocoa. So we're just removing the skin from our cocoa. Then we'll be dicing our yam cocoa Irish. Figure in a me pot. Stay tuned for that. So guys now we'll be just we'll be Dicing or yum. Let my yum begin a soup, my guys. So about presentation for me. Don't like the big junk of anything. Right, Katie? Yes. Let them know. This yum is called Mozilla yum. This is what this yam called, guys. If you're wondering what it's called, it's called Mozilla Yam. Please don't come at me, guys. Don't ask my white name, so. I don't mean name, God. Alright. So now, on to our Irish. On to our Irish, guys. So, you want to go in and repeat the same for the Irish. This guys. Red pea soup here, you know. So, so I'll let you know, go turn up on my yard. But I don't know where I live. A bay. This guy is looking all over, right?
cocoa time. Same for the cocoa. Well, you don't really have to do it, but this is small, right? So you don't want to it go away so fast, right? It's guys. Guys, I'm um, here cleaning up my carrots for my soup using four nice small carrots. <laughs> Guys, please note when you're peeling the yam, you could use a gloves to do so. One of those food gloves. Reason being, the yam scratch, okay? I repeat, it scratch. Yeah, so I never tell you enough. So don't be like me, you can go like on the top. Alright, now the yam has to deal with my skin. But anyway, real chef go through things. I'm not a baby. So I'm just going to get rid of this now. Wash my carrot and then I will dice them. So guys, dicing my carrot. I don't want them too fine. Oh, fine. So you cut them to your desire, but this is how I like seeing them in my soup. So yeah, yep. Alright, so then I'm place it in my nice little jar right there, and I let it sit there until I'm ready. So, so now guys we'll be removing our pressure from the fire and place it down nicely like that drop our soup pot so now guys we'll be opening our pressure well, guys if you don't know how to do this don't try it at home first you want to run some water on to the pressure and you're waiting until this little thing go down guys if it don't go down please do not open pressure is still build up inside it will make a click sound all right now it's down so we will open our pressure look at that it's not magic so well so guys if you want to know if your peas is cooked this is how we do it in jamaica first it's not fully cooked but that's the way i want it reason being it's going to go in this pot here for another half an hour to 45 minutes so then it will be perfectly ready some of it has cooked and some is hard. That's why I want it. For now. I don't want all of it to pressure fully. So now, sorry. Now we'll be transferring our liquid to our original soup pot. Guys, you have to be very careful. Because you don't want that heat to splash. Right? So yes, guys. So we'll allow that to boil allow this pot to boil so before so guys onto our soup pot we'll be going in with two cups of coconut milk to the pot this is natural blended coconut milk look at it yes guys all that flavor so now we are season pot season our season Going in with a little salt. Yes, guys. Salt to that. And also adding our pumpkin. Be very careful. Don't want it to splash. So we're going in with some complete seasoning to our pot. It's all about season and flavor. Not too much. So guys, we'll be going into our soup pot with our chicken. 
adding our chicken. So, we leave this to boil for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Then we add our ground provision like our yam, dash, no, yam, cocoa, and Irish to the pot, guys. Okay, guys, so we're making our dough for our flour, or dumpling, sorry. So I have two cups of flour, adding some salt, not too much, hands are washed, so you just want to mix, mix, mix. So add some water. Not too much, guys. Don't want to add too much water to the flour. I need to spoil it and then see. I need to, you know, see. I need to channel my watch. I need to spoil the floor. No, none of that, Rony. We don't spoil things, okay? So, you just mix, mix, mix. Combine everything together until everything is neatly combined to make a perfect dough for a dumpling. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. So, we need. Our dough need perfect. Yeah. So we do guess what? We do ready for the flow you know? Ready for the dumpling. <laughs> Guys! See with me, see with me. I'm gonna laugh, man. Sure. No bad no perfect though. I knew that man. Flow already for the dough. <laughs> Alright guys, so flow already. So I'll go make it sit there. Ten minutes and we'll add it to the pot when the pot starts well. Guys. So guys, we're just preparing our scallion or white onion, as some people would call it. But I know this as scallion, so here we go. Happen now. We're not cutting this up. Fold it like this. Use the knife like my granny taught me. My granny teach me cooking, you know. Okay, so this will be adding to the pot at the last stage. Welcome back, guys. So now checking on our pot. Yes, guys. So going in with three pots noodles, pumpkin noodles to the pot. Three of them, guys. Look at it. So, I just want to give it a little stir. So, I'm going to talk about it. I'm nice to me, I'm talk about you know. My granny. This is my granny version of doing a red pea soup. So, when my granny tastes pot, you know, guys. So, she go. Look. Mad thing. Say salt, ready some my washing spoon and get back. Going in to my pot, soup pot, two pepper, one green, one white, ripe, sorry, scotch bonnet. Also, just a little, just a little of my blended season to the pot. So we allow this to come to a boil and we'll be going in with our yam and Irish to the pot. So stay tuned. So guys, now we'll be adding some pimento seed to our pot. It's all about flavors. So now I will be giving my soup a little stir. Look at it. Yes, guys. Mix kitchen soup. Making soup. Welcome back, guys. So now we're adding our dumpling to the pot. Spinner is setting. I don't like my dumpling big. You, it's, you can do it. 
as to your desire guys you don't have to make spinners but i don't like to see a dumpling big i like them just like that so that's all we do then we add everything So guys, now we'll be going in with our carrot to the pot. Yes guys, so you just want to give it a nice stir like that. Yes guys, look at it, it's coming on just fine. My red pea soup done on no other than coal stove, Nick's Kitchen, Jamaica. We done it again guys, we done it again. Together, I love you so much. Ooh, smells so nice up in here. So we'll leave this now for another 10 minutes, then we will remove and serve. So guys, we're just adding some garnish to our soup. Nice little scallion, nice cut, right? Not too much. And to that, to top it off, a scotch bunny pepper. So guys, we have made it to the end of our soup, red pea soup. So if it's your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.